Hello everyone, my name is Keiki Alexander from 646 Studios, also known as the Panda Photographer. And I want to do a street review on the Sony 90mm f2.8 lens. And I just got criticized sort of on Facebook for posting that I was going to do a video of this. And my honest opinion is that I don't give a shit. Because everyone else is doing micro featured and portrait testing. But no one's actually doing a street photography test. And I'm going to show you a few images that this lens is a beast on the street. So we're in New York City and I'm going to actually show you some images right now. So stay tuned and hopefully you do like it. If you do, please do subscribe, please do thumbs up. Please actually recommend that this lens is pretty good. But I recommend it manual focusing. So all my images are manual focusing. So keep that in mind, I do have it on manual focus right now. But I'll tell you what I did to the A7R for the autofocus system. And I know some of you guys are going to question me. You never use autofocus, you always shoot manual. But I want to make this video clear. I'm not endorsed by Sony, so please, I remind you that I'm a user and I'm a photographer just trying to give you the information that you need to know if you're using the A7R, or this may help in some cases with the A7 series line of cameras. Now, what I did was I turned off steady shot in my settings. Also, I disabled slow shutter to cut down on the noise. So it gives me a fast accuracy when I'm taking my images. But also, I did was take off and disable pre-autofocus and kept the steady shot on the camera active on and kept it at full when I'm doing street and photography. Notice that the lens and yes, is this really, really sharp. Video is so when I shot everything in autofocus, what I did was keep the camera on. You can see it, let me hear you. I know that shutter sound is terrible, but... I would say give it like an 83, 81% percentile when it comes out of autofocus with these settings disabled. But in manual focus, I noticed that it's really sharp. But let me key point about the autofocus system using the autofocus settings and the feature and actually disabling those settings. When you keep your subject in focus or your target in focus, make sure you press the button for the autofocus lock. It does work in manual well as well. I don't know why, but it does. I noticed that when I was actually manual focusing on a subject and I accidentally pressed it and it locked on. No matter what I did, I took my camera off and still locked on. That's kind of weird, but Overall, it's a really outstanding performance lens. I recommend buying the lens, giving the lens a chance. Maybe if you're having some difficulties with any of the A7 line cameras, try to use the micro lens. It's gonna help out with your street photography. And I think the, the 90 mil is a great street, for, a street photography. And I'm gonna demonstrate these images right in Lightroom, why this is, could be a weapon for street photography. I recommend it. I don't know about you, but then again, someone criticized me on Facebook by posting that I was going to make a video about this, and I don't give a shit. I'm not a professional photographer. I'm a enthusiast photographer. I make my living off of photography as much as I can. I also do a lot of portraits and a lot of street photography. So this is another reason why I want to take the gamble to buying this lens and testing it. So if you disagree with me, leave the comments down below, and let's have a discussion about it. But don't leave any rants or stupid comments, just messing up the video and set the floor uh, the viewers. Now in manual mode, it's really sharp with low focus peaking. Do not put it on mint, put it on low focus peaking. It would help if you do that. If you do that, then most of your shots will come out really sharp with really nice contrast, details, less CA, I haven't seen any CA with this camera so far. By far, I'm going to recommend it to you guys if you guys, or rent it. Just rent it for your camera and see how it is. If you like it, then you can go buy it. But other than that, it's a really good outperforming lens. I recommend it. But I want to continue to, to show you some of the images I have taken in Lightroom so you guys have a good idea of what I'm talking about when it comes down to street photography with this lens. So. Thank you for watching, and, but also make sure that you do subscribe, share, thumbs up, leave a comment, share it with your friends, 
Share it with anyone you think is interested. And yes, I'm using the Roll Link wireless system again on the A77 Mark II on the Sony Cam with the 18 to 35 cinema lens. So thank you for watching and let's continue on in Lightroom and let me show you these images. Hello everyone. So we are back in the Pandit Laboratory, AKA 646 Studios. And I wanna actually show you the image quality from this micro lens doing some street photography. And let me first say, the bulkhead, it's pretty little, a little bit of a mess here, even at f4.0, but the colors that the people are wearing gives it a very interesting, characteristic look to the image. So what I really want to focus on is this. I see how sharp it is by taking a photograph of some leaves and 14th Street New Square when I was actually with some other videographers. and. This is extremely sharp lens. It's ridiculously, deliciously sharp. It's probably one of my favorite lenses at this time, including my 18 to 35 cinema. This is the lens I've been waiting for and I should have got this a long time ago, to be honest. And you can tell like the color details, the saturation and the contrast levels, the sharpness, the, the, the shadows, the highlights, pretty well balanced on this lens the blacks are really rich not too not too rich but correctly rich and I have to say I'm pretty satisfied with the image quality and as you can see I was hanging around some other videography and cinephotography uh, crew today at the Union Square filming and someone's using Sony once again this is what I'm talking about I think there's a lot of Sony users in New York City, which is a good thing. But anyway, so as I was taking a picture, I noticed a little bit at even at f.4 at ISO 258, it's I kind of miss it hand handling, manually shooting. But I have to say, this is really good. The results are really promising that this lens is really sharp. But as I slide over to her bag and her shirts on her details you can see the contrast levels are pretty nice the blacks are really rich nicely balanced color saturation is pretty good too you can see that this is in sharpness her whole entire bag is in entirely in sharpness even some strains of her hair are in sharpness her face is looking this way I pretty much nailed that shot to be honest so this gives you a better representation on how well this lens does in the street photography world and I do do and I am going to recommend this as a street lens so today I was also on the other side of 40th Street New York Square when this 17 year old kid was actually playing a veteran in chess and this veteran was getting his butt hit. So I decided to take an image from a distance. And I was probably about, I would say 10 to 15 feet away. And boom, the sharpness and the detail from this lens. So you can actually see the, the, the word product on his glasses. Eyes is in focus, nose is in focus. There's a lot of skin toned balance in here and the blacks are like I said the blacks are really nice and detailed and rich contrast levels are to me perfect and I don't see any chromatic aberrations either or any color shift whatsoever which is pretty damn good now as I focus more down on his shirt you can see contrast levels are great. Details is absolutely phenomenal. Shadows are great. Blacks are rich. Contrast levels are great. I'm pretty satisfied with how this lens did. And these are all raw files, not edit. So, also, shooting another Sony user once again shows you how many Sony users are in New York City. Go Sony. And like I said, I'm not endorsed by Sony. Just saying, go Sony. And he was actually getting video and I wanted to take a photo of him and basically get some see how well it does in manual focusing and I nailed it pretty much. So if I bring down just 
just a bit. You can see that contrast levels are great. The detail in his hair, it's just remarkably stupid, sharp. I can't say or express anymore how I feel about this lens. This is the lens I've been waiting for for quite some time now. And I think it delivered in my opinion. And you can see Sony A7S and very nice in the filter by the way the skin tones are really nice and vibrant and very well balanced saturation is not too oversaturated I think it's really balanced in my opinion whites are white which is good there's a lot of detail and you can even see the detail on the watch and on his hands as well like I said all these photos are not edited and also taken for street photography of these guys working on the sidewalk and Broadway on 13th Street. And as I zoom in one to one, you can see that it nailed it. I'm nailing it manual focusing all the time. I'm getting so good at it, I should just rename my company the manual guy. But and I am, am pleased with the contrast levels, the sharpness, the details and the ground they actually replace it and this is a great photograph super nice super sharp not too disappointed at all actually I'm not disappointed at all now I wanted to get something really different I wanted to get a close-up shot of a of a flyer on a light on a city light pole to see the contrast levels and how sharp I would get this first try and the bokeh is pretty smooth and buttery but zooming in I see that ooh, the blacks are really rich this time around and whites are not as vibrant as the last photo but it may be due because I was actually underneath a tree but this is what I am looking for in the lens. Great detail, nice black, uh, nice saturations, nice highlights, nice contrast control. This is a very good lens for street photography. If you think about using this lens as a street photographer, I recommend doing it. And we are at the last image here where the bokeh is really super nice. Nice and circular, nice and clean, and you can look at it, there's no color fringing or color shifting or no CA, chromatic aberrations. So I'm pretty pleased with the lens. I tried to this time focus on this, but if we go down a little bit more on the, on the subject here, you see it's sharp here, but sh sharp here. So, but this is all manual focusing, so, mm tells you how well I am good at doing manual for focusing so thank you for watching everyone and I hope you do love the photos that you have seen this is proven to be a street photography lens so but if you have any other questions down uh, any questions about the, the images or the content or any questions about the lens and what model of the Sony a lineup you're using let me know on the comments down below like I said before, please do subscribe, please thumbs up, favorite, share it as much as possible.